everyone. I thought I'd film like a real life video. Um, I'm at work right now. Yes, I'm. This is my fourth day at back at the back at the job since March twenty third. Yes, it's March twenty third. So it's been a good month, close to not close to two, but going on. It's been a month and a few weeks <laughs> since I've been back, but I thought I'd film um, how I've been studying for dental, I'm gonna call it dental school, because um, I can basically specialize in any, um, I can specialize in gen um, general dentist, uh, what's it called, generic? General dentistry, periodontics, I can get um, orthodontist, endodontist, I can work with children, I can work with adults, basically. So, um, I've been wanting to film this video for a while, so I thought it'd be the great time since I'm not really doing anything. Um, I just wanted to show you guys how I've been studying for school. So it's always good to prepare yourself. Um, you know, it's always good to prepare yourself, especially if you don't know, like if this is not, if this is new to you, of course it's gonna be new to you but um, it's very good to prepare yourself. So I'm gonna show you what I've purchased so far and what I've been using. And I will also post some of the links below to some of the sites. Um, so I'm gonna show you the computer at my work to kind of show you what I've been doing. Okay, so I've really been trying to go over, the first thing I've learned are the teeth numbers. So basically the universal one I've learned so I know I can name all the teeth. Um, yes, yeah, so eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. This is one. 32, 16, and 17. These are your molars, and it's touch screen, so I can't really touch it. These are your premolars, canine, lateral incisor, central incisors. So um, this is very good to learn. This is a very good picture. You learn maxillary, mandible, your right and left, of course. Your posterior teeth are from your um, premolars to molars, and your anterior teeth are your canines and incisors. So this is a very good picture. I printed this out and saved this. So what I typed in was anterior and posterior teeth, and they have a whole bunch of different things. I also printed this out too, and that helped me remember. Um, the difference between anterior and posterior. So you're probably wondering why is it good to learn the teeth numbers? I mean, if you're going into dental school, if you're going into hygienist school, dental hygienist school, assisting school, it's very good. You're going to want to know your teeth numbers. Why is my face so small? You're going you're to want to know your teeth numbers. Um, the majority of the offices use universal um, teeth numbering from what I just showed you, the eight, eight, um, eight and nine, um, starting at eight and nine. That's the only one that I learned. I do want to learn the rest of them when I start to work a lot more, but I probably will not need it because I will be only working in America right now. I don't know if I'm going to be a travel. I know they were looking for a lot of um, dental assistants and hygienists in Germany for some. That's, that's, that's random. But <clears throat> yes, so it's very good to learn the teeth numbers, that's the number one thing. Definitely start off with that and anterior, posterior, maxillary, mandible, um, what I just showed you. Start off with that, take it slow, learn the teeth numbers first. Once you recognize the teeth numbers, once you can recognize that, then go on um, to learning the rest of the stuff. Anterior, posterior, maxillary, mandible, go on and learn that. If you can't find any of these pictures, um, comment down below and I will message you on my braces account and send you the picture of those. Jeez. So the next thing I've been using is Quizlet. Quizlet's very good to practice on. Um, let me click on the surfaces of the teeth. I created these so if you want to go off of what I've been studying, just let me know and I could um, send you that as well. So you have flashcards, you could learn them. Yeah, let me click on it. No, oh, it's gonna take forever to load. You could learn them um, and it tells you what you really need to work on. You could write them, if you can't spell them 
correctly. Yep, you could spell them. You could test. They have different tests. You could play matching, and they have a gravity game. So that's that's cool. Quizlet is very good. Quizlet has helped me a lot, and you can create your own sets, or you could search up a set here. So. <clears throat> Why are surfaces of the teeth, before I go in and show you some of the pictures that I've used, why are surfaces of the teeth something that you should learn? Well, once you're done, of course, recognizing from the first step what I um, showed you to do, um, then you're going to need to know that um, surfaces of the teeth, basically, because the dentist, the orthodontist, whoever you're working for, there's a specific part of the teeth, the surfaces, and they're gonna be they're gonna be saying the occlusal. I don't. You're gonna need to know that. I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that I've been using. Most of them are all the same. This is a very good picture. I think I'm gonna save this. I just found it, but um, how I remembered each of them: midline, middle, M, middle. So this um, distal D distance um, and um, rest them occlusal. I don't I don't really have a thing for that one, <laughs> but this is a very good picture. Um, you could also play go on Google, and they have so much stuff. Like they have so much stuff. You could watch videos as well. Um, I watch so many dental videos, trust me, they help. But learn your surfaces of the teeth. So another thing to learn, and of course, I haven't, I don't start school until July 1st. Yeah, July 1st. So obviously I don't know, I know of like what we're going to be studying, but I don't know what we're going to be studying every single day. I kind of have like a, a rough draft of what I'm going to be studying and this is just something that you're to they're going to teach you you're going to need to know this stuff I know that's for sure um because they told me to start studying this stuff and become familiar with it so this is something that you shouldn't be lazy about and you should do um and if you aren't committed to doing it then I don't think this would be for you so honestly I say do it because it's helped me a lot, um, like a lot. Knowing the teeth numbers, as soon as I knew the teeth numbers, then it's easier to start learning the other stuff of the teeth. And I could, as soon as I get my little model, I have like a little model coming in the mail. I wanna go over everything, um, what's gonna be easier. So trust me, it's hard for me to memorize a lot of things. I have a lot of stuff going on in my mind. So if I could do it, you guys could do it too. Okay, I'm gonna show you the next thing that I help been that's been helping me, starting from the basics, basically. Even if it's kids, like children stuff, start from the basics and move up. Simple as that, if you absolutely don't know anything, it doesn't hurt to start from the bottom and obviously progress. So what I type on, I type in is animated teeth. This website is amazing. It's basic. They have literally everything dental. Um, I go here to quizzes and I take these quizzes. They have so many teeth. They have the anatomy. And that's another thing you're going to need to know that I. it's hard. I just started the actual anatomy of the tooth. You're going to need to know the instruments and this is basic. Um, you're going to need to know the tongue anatomy, the mouth anatomy, basically all of that. Um, so this is basic stuff on here has teeth numbering on here as well. Types of teeth. So this is this is good. Um, this is another thing that you could start doing as soon as you know the numbers of the teeth. Like this is eight, this is um, 32. Once you know this, once you know the teeth numbers and quiz yourself on it. So this is a very good website. So teeth, an animatedteeth.com. Okay, so another thing is since you're gonna do, I don't know, well, I'm going for my extra certificate of, um, here somewhere. I don't remember what I was saying. 
but um something about radiology oh so you're gonna want to know about you want to familiarize yourself with just about everything that you possibly can but of course start off with the basic stuff that i just listed so once you know that then it gets it gets easier i'm not gonna say it gets easier because there's stuff that i really really don't know um but definitely learn what i've listed you're gonna want to learn basically the neck and up anatomy so your head and neck because if you so i'm specializing um i want to specialize in orthodontist orthodontics but um i'm also getting a certificate so i could take x-rays different kinds of x-rays so once you're i'm gonna be certified in radiology as well and i'm doing ex extend expanded functions instead of right your basic dental assisted um i kind of want to further my education again after that i don't think i'd be a dentist as mm, no so <laughs> yes so definitely learn radiology and your anatomy of your head and neck familiarize yourself with that there trust me there's probably stuff that you already learned in grade school but definitely familiarize yourself familiarize yourself with that trust me um but the stuff that I've listed, that's what I've been studying so far. And again, I don't start school until July, but it's very, very good to start familiarizing yourself. Now, from what I've learned, um, from what I've learned, uh, studying actually helps. <laughs> I've never been one to study when I was like, uh, maybe in high school. I never really did, but I still kind of passed most, the majority of my tests. But definitely, this since this is your career now, don't don't slack. Just do it. Get it done. Familiarize yourself, because I promise you, once you start, and I'm gonna film. I'm gonna film orientation. Maybe they'll let me, because they they film throughout the day of the school. So do it, and I promise you guys, they're gonna be shocked. You, because this is the first thing that they're gonna start teaching you basic stuff like this, and you're gonna already know it. And you're gonna add on to what you already know but okay this is it i'm gonna edit this video right now thank you guys so much for watching thank you so much for subscribing to my channel i cannot wait to start vlogging at school for you guys um yes bye <laughs>